Hello, Sarah Keogh here from Pretty Property. We've got another listing for you today. This is reference S-1346. It's just four and a half kilometres from Tamar. Great location. Little village, peaceful, nice views out the back and the front. Um, property is extensive. It's a large house with three layers. You can just see the two from the front. When you go round the back, there's another one underneath. It covers 470 square metres of build and 2,500 square metres of land. The, the land is divided at the back, half of it is low maintenance, the other half is used for agriculture. So there's lots of different things you can do with this property and I think it's best to explain it inside level by level. Okay, so entering the property, we're going to turn right into the lounge. As you can see, this is a large lounge dining room area. And there's a circular layout and we go from here into the kitchen. So here we have the kitchen, we can go outside from the kitchen as well, there's plenty of light, we have what we call a winter lounge, everything's ready to go, the house is completely in very good condition, it's all completely habitable, kitchen cupboards, everything's nice quality, all ready to go. So from here, Again, we can go in two different directions. The property, we're going to the right now. This property was used a few years ago with a, an, a, a successful bed and breakfast business, okay? And this was an outside entertaining, um, entertainment area. That's easy for you to say. Yeah, not really, as it turns out. So, this area on your left was a bar. Behind you, you've got double, you've got garage doors. You don't need to turn around to get them. And there's also an exit door. Oh, it's beautiful out here. I did this on Friday. It was terrible weather. So, you can see that these are your views over the, over the back. It's got its separate, you know, entrance and exit into the garden, two different ways. And you're going to come and look at the garden, yeah? So this area here, up until the fencing, is low maintenance, easy to use garden. Also very handy, lots of our clients have dogs, so to know that there's already a fenced in area is very handy. And then all the vegetables you can see beyond that are also, that's also part of the plot until the bank where the trees are. So you, the garden's set out basically. Okay, so leaving the kitchen in the other direction, you come to a snug. We call it a snug, lovely winter lounge. So we've got the wood burning fire here, so this would be incredibly warm. Um, and then we go and continue along the corridor until we get to the staircase. And we have the two bedrooms on this floor still. Just so you can orientate yourself, the front door's there. We've got a loop. And here we have, obviously, there's the bathroom there, shower on your left. 
storage cupboard behind the door there. And a double bedroom. All of the rooms are nice and light. So this is the second ensuite double bedroom. This, as you come through the first front door, this is the first on the left. The room we've just been into is the second on the left. Now, this is a good size room, double bed, cupboards and a chair. Then we've got, this side is wardrobe, and this side leads you into, seems to have lost the light switch, into a shower bathroom. So, now we put the front door behind Paul, the cameraman, obviously the stairs behind me. I'm going to go downstairs first, so it's easier to start again down there, so see you down there. So, having just come down the stairs, which you can see behind me, on the right here we have shower, bathroom and a double bedroom. Behind Paul, behind you at the moment, is the garage. It's very large and could easily be kept as a garage, plus you could knock through from this side and make two more bedrooms in a bathroom. No problem, it's enormous. But for now, come through here and see what we already have. So this is the lounge. We have the exterior entrance on the right hand side, obviously access to the garden. Yeah, it's a completely independent area. The views of the garden, lovely, easy access. You've got a gate here for parking and access to the garden. Paul and I have been discussing the different things you can do with this property, and as usual, we don't agree. But, um, Either of these rooms here, you could easily put doors through. This, of course, is the kitchen. And here, I'm assuming it was meant to be a fireplace or a range for cooking on. One way or another, that must be a chimney stack. Extractor, yeah. Extractor. It's completely usable and was lived in as it is. Completely habitable, nice space. Yeah, I mean, my idea was if you put a simple wall directly between these two doors, you get a bedroom on your right, and because this is already planned, it could be an ensuite bedroom. Uh, but the possibilities are just endless and huge. I think <laughs> you could put two doors through the wall behind four. <laughs> Rip out this one and make a nice big open plan kitchen diner here with access to the bedrooms behind you. But we will always squabble about these things. Always a possibility. Yeah. So here we have the double the garage doors behind the wall. There's plenty of space. You could easily have two cars in here, pull one in here, pull one right in front, and one across here. Sorry, I wasn't looking at the camera. And this is the area we're talking about being able to put in two more bedrooms and a, and a bathroom. Yeah, at least two. Two one suites, whatever you want to do. And then that would make this a potentially three bedroom house on its own right. Yeah, just the, just the basement floor, just the ground floor, yes. Okay, so we've just come up to the Top floor on the third floor of the property. Uh, behind me, there's a kitchenette. But as I said, this was running bed and breakfast. And then, oh, and it's a successful bed and breakfast. After that, it was run as a family home by a family who had two elderly relatives. So for them, the two ensuite double bedrooms downstairs on the middle layer with the kitchen and the lounge worked perfectly. There's so many different things you could do. Upstairs could work perfectly for a family with teenage children who want a bit of privacy. Uh, but anyway, behind me we've got a kitchenette. 
It's all been done, apart from the plasterboard on the ceiling, unfortunately, but it's done. Here we have a double bedroom en suite. So, again, a double bedroom, ensuite bathroom with shower unit. So, on the top floor, we have behind the hall, we've got the kitchenette and the first double bedroom en suite. Then we have this open space that you can see here and there's a bathroom behind that wall. So there was an idea that you could, again in line with the bed and breakfast, you could put a wall across here and you'd have a third double en suite bedroom up here with access to the balcony. As it's that, and as I say there's an existing bathroom there. If you come to me, you have the other ensuite bedroom. There's a wardrobe here and storage which goes under the eaves, which is so storage space. Coming through here, the bathroom and a nice light room here. From here, we'll show you the balcony, okay? That's accessible from here and the room next door. Beautiful views. Watch your head. So as I said, five, four and a half kilometers from Tamar. It took me six minutes to get here the other day from Intermarché. Very quiet location, peaceful, but incredibly close to the town, which is part of the reason why it was such a successful bed and breakfast. This bird song is absolutely lovely. At the front of the property, there's this fenced area, which again, if you've got dogs, great area for just keeping the animals in. If not, it's just very pleasant to have a front garden. And as Paul pans to the right, you will see the shaded area before the front door. So there are the lounge windows inside there. So it always keeps cool in there. Very nice porch. Lovely. It's a French porch, front porch. They've gone out of fashion, but they should come back. So here we are in the back garden. This is the area that's been done as low maintenance. You could put a bug around pool here. And it's fenced, ready to go. Nice and easy to look after the pepper tree. You've got fruit trees. I think we've got a lemon lime grafted tree. Behind me, where we've got the fence, beyond the fence is the water, vegetable patch. Okay? That's actually currently looked after by a neighbour. There's a deal between the owners of this property and the neighbour that she cares for the ground and gives over some veg. Okay? And if Paul turns round, he'll give you a picture of the rear of the property. Just to recap, we're six kilometres from Tamar. The property's on for 349,000 euros. It's 2,500 square metres of land and 460 square metres of build. It's an amazing deal for somebody who needs a big home for whatever reason.